On average, more than 700,000 people die as a result of suicide every year, which is roughly one death every 40 seconds. The number of deaths due to suicide is higher than the number of deaths caused by traffic accidents, murder and animals, indicating that suicide is a serious public health problem. Suicide is one of the leading causes of mortality, accounting for 1.3% of all deaths worldwide. While suicide affects everyone, it is the second leading cause of mortality among young people aged 15 to 24. People belonging to ethnic and gender minorities are three times more likely to attempt suicide than others. In the same vein, mothers in the first year after childbirth have significantly higher suicide rates compared to other people. There are physiological and psychological causes of suicide. While imbalance in brain chemistry may lead some of us to take our own lives, psychological factors may also increase risks of suicide. These factors include depression and other mental health disorders, trauma and abuse, dysfunctional families, grief caused by love and relationships, financial or career insecurities, lack of social support and isolation. Although it is difficult to predict a suicide attempt, it is important to be aware of these psychological factors. Even if suicide is a leading cause of mortality in our society, we don't speak about it. Suicide is still a taboo subject in many cultures, being regarded as unthinkable and unjustifiable for moral and religious reasons. The law finds suicide to be criminal, religion treats it as a sin, society conceals it and medicine regards it as insanity. Yes, talking about suicide may make us feel uncomfortable, but ignoring this phenomenon is no longer acceptable. Public awareness is the first crucial step in raising the voice of the voiceless. Normalizing talk about suicide in the public sphere as well as among close friends and family can save lives. More specifically, research has demonstrated that asking someone if they are having thoughts of killing themselves is actually more likely to save a life. Additionally, most people who are thinking about suicide are often hesitant about it, and almost all deaths from suicide are preceded by a number of warning signs. Such signs include a withdrawal from friends and family, a sudden change in character, self-harm and a feeling that there are no reasons for living. Understanding the issues concerning suicide and learning to detect warning signs are important ways to take part in suicide prevention, help others in crisis and break the taboo. People who have suicidal thoughts do not want to die, they are just trying to end the pain. Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. We should understand that suicide often stems from deep feelings of hopelessness, shame, guilt and self-loathing. The impossibility of seeing solutions to problems may lead some of us to view taking our own lives as the only possible solution. In the end, one needs more courage to live than to kill himself. When the weight of the world is holding you down, remember the courage to keep fighting is what got you this far. This world is more beautiful with you in it. Be strong.